Hey everybody, we're going to do a quick video on the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. So it's going to be a setup video and some other information, so please stick around and I'll see you there. Alright everybody, so I'm going to set up this camera. This Logitech Brio. 4K camera, cable, Like I had said earlier, I already installed the software a couple days before. take you to the software so just search Logitech Brio software and then click on support logitech.com slash forward slash en for English underscore us forward slash product forward slash brio forward slash getting started so it should take you to this page you scroll down you click on webcams and cameras and then you click on brio 4k which is the first camera on the list and you click on downloads left side and then um, you can click on show all downloads choose your OS I'm running Windows 10 so 2.10.4 is the newest software which is July 8th of 2019 it's 108 megabytes camera is active I'm going to click on widescreen HDR is on it's kind of hard to see but HDR is on uh, and then you have field of view 65 shows me really close 78 degrees or 90 degrees and I think I'm just gonna leave it on 90 degrees and then if you go to advanced settings you can change the brightness you can change the contrast color intensity and the auto white balance you can turn the auto white balance option off which is this little tick mark right here and you can change that manually if you want
and put it somewhere around 55,000 Kelvin. Closest I get is 55,000 or 5,529. That's the closest I get, not 55,000. And it does have a zoom. Zooms in pretty far. This is just a quick little video. So I have it set up. See it set up, so. I just have it on this boom arm. This is the other arm I showed in the previous video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon if you guys want to see future updates. Um, and uh, go check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll leave um, in the description below, I'll leave a link to Rust Belt Mechanics channel and his uh, Rust Belt Mechanic fundraiser fund. You can donate to that fund. Um, I'm sure he would appreciate it and I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video everybody so I forgot to show another set of software for the Logitech Brio 4k camera or webcam so we're gonna go over some of the other software and some of the features of that software so please stick around and I'll see you there software I forgot to install it's the Logitech capture software for the webcam so we're gonna do a rundown I have um, it popped up um, waiting to be installed um, it can be found. It looks like it's finished installing. You just click launch. It can be found in the download section of the Logitech Brio, like I demonstrated in the previous video. So if you look at it carefully, sorry about that. If you look at it carefully, this one says camera settings software version 2.10.4 which is the actual software to run the camera and then if you go down this one says Logitech Capture software version 1.10.102 and this one was released July 2nd 2019 and the actual software that's the actual software for the um, to capture certain things with the, the camera and then the other one is the camera settings software so the camera settings software looks like this so if you click that this is the camera settings software where it shows the camera on well, you can see my GoPro okay and, and my dead cat and blah 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 Okay, and this one right here, it's purple with a round circle. It's asking me to install the update. So, we'll install the update. Just gonna install Logitech Capture again. I always share analytic data because you know I'm a beta tester so you don't have to check that if you don't want to share your information
Logitech Capture allows you to customize and get the most out of your Logitech webcam. Please wait, this process may take a few minutes. That's what it says. I thought I installed all the software. I realized the only thing I installed was the camera settings. I didn't realize I didn't install the other software, which was the capture software, which this allows you to add things to the camera, like backdrops, and um, instead of having to use like a green screen setup or system, this one just allows you to utilize what the, the software has in it. So I clicked launch. Minimize this. Not really sure why it did that. One thing I'm not liking already is I put it to 55 Kelvin and randomly it just changes to 2000 Kelvin for some reason. Okay, so. Wonder if you gotta close this one. Oh, yep, yeah, you gotta close the other one and it opens this one. This one allows you to record, take pictures. It allows you to put your camera in the corner and have another source. Source two would be this source right here and your camera is the main or half and half either direction so it's got some nice features um, border puts a little red border around the camera set for streaming on a 90 degree Got an autofocus and auto white balance here. Image adjustment. Anti flicker. Advanced settings. It's got a mic over here in the corner. It's got the volume. What is this? Folder not available. Okay. Um, and it's got screen two over here. Ah, here it is. This little camera icon right here. You can change the resolution. So I want it 1080p, 1920 by 1080. I want it 30 frames a second. Video encoders, Navita, NVEC. Um, and what's the advanced settings? Frame grid 3 to 1 countdown, 5 megapixel enhancement screenshot. It's got a volume setting. Microphone is Logitech Brio, so when I hook up my headset, it will automatically, I can change the volume to be my headset, not the camera. Um, and you can change the default speakers if you want to do that also it's got a transition for fade clock fade move left move right move top move bottom alternate ALT in this corner it gives you just a list of things that you can do with certain key buttons but this is the one that does the fade options and then the little human guy is a setting profile Custom profile one. Looks like it froze for some reason.
Okay, so it has a portrait mode. Change that. I'm not seeing the 4K option. For some reason. call them and ask them why I'm not seeing the 4K option. frame per second it's a little dark square Okay, what's well, on the box? Camera, USB cable, privacy shade, carry pouch, and documentation. That's what came in the box. So the little bitty square rectangle piece is a privacy shade. Focus auto white balance image adjustment. Okay, that's the white balance. Interesting. Okay, that's color, some kind of color adjustment. Chroma key. I don't need those. Oh, you can flip the source vertical and horizontal. That's pretty neat. Oh, it has filter stuff. filters off oh that's cool you can make the border really wide or you can make it really small that's pretty cool it's just a little rundown of some of these things here Thank you guys for watching. Please, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon if you guys want to see future updates. Uh, go check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll leave a description down below in the description section. I'll leave some information for Rust Belt Mechanics YouTube channel and his Go uh, GoFundMe 
Rust Belt Mechanic Fundraiser Fund. Please go check that out if you can, and I'll see you guys in the next video.